If we take the My Bedroom file in your working folder, we can explore viewing your Gantt chart with different dates visible. So different zooms effectively on the Gantt chart site. So in order to do that, let's just narrow up the task pane side so that we can explore the Gantt chart. Now the default is that you view everything in a day basis. So you can see the five days of the working week, Saturday and Sunday are non-working, and then the five days of the next working week. And across the top, we see the week commencing date, and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now we've already previously seen that you can hold down the control key and use the wheel on the mouse to zoom in closer. And you can see we've gone right into Friday, January the 4th, 3 a.m., 3.15, 3.30, 3.45, 4 a.m., 4.15, 4.30, 4.45. So that's zooming right into the timeline. And we can zoom right out the other way to half years. So we see 2013, half the year, 2013, the second half, 2014, first half, 2014, second half. Now, we don't need to use control and the mouse. See how we need to use that scroll to task option there though. If we go to the view ribbon, there is a whole zoom section. That's this section here, where we have a drop down of the main zoom settings, which is hours. So that shows you an hour slot at a time. That way you're able to see the start of the day, lunch, second half of the day, and then the end of the day. Or we have quarter days. So that's midnight, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., 6 p.m. Days, which is what we're used to. Well, that's the default. Weeks. So you see a week at a time. So in the heading, we see the month and then the week commencing date. Thirds of a month, January, and the three portions of your month, beginning, middle, and end. Months, so that way the top line are quarters, so first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and then January, February, March, April, May, June. Quarters, that breaks the year into four sections. And then half years, which we see control and the wheel. And then there is another option for years. In our case, that shows us 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013. That's where our project is squeezed into. And then we're into 2014. So these are bracketed by five year groups. And then you have a small area for each year. So really depending on the level of your project, how long it is, the integrity, the complicatedness, will depend on which Zoom suits. This kind of zoom where you can see a year broken into five years is sort of very long term planning. Town planning would be a good example. Right down at the other end for hours will be minute projects that only last a short time that you need to be broken right down into. And our little normal project days work quite well. Control Shift F5, don't forget that one to bring the current task into view. Very useful if you're zooming in and out because you end up anywhere in the timeline. Now, in between all of those default options, there is a zoom extra where you can zoom in and out. And that just takes you in and out one step. Same as control on the wheel. Or we have a zoom that allows you here, you can see zoom to a week, to two weeks, to one month, to three months, to the selected task, to the entire project. That is quite useful. If you want to bring the whole project onto the screen in one go. Okay, and you can see the whole project start to finish fits within the screen. Regardless of your screen resolution, it will make sure it fits. The dotted line there is the start of the project. The dotted line there is the end of the project. Back to Zoom. Or we can choose Custom and choose how many days or weeks or thirds of a month or month or quarters or half years to see at a time. So should none of the default options or customizing this zoom here be right for you, then you can choose a custom amount of days or weeks or months to fit. Let's leave that as it was because I like one project on the page. There's a quick button here for entire project, which we went through zoom entire project OK to get to. And then there's a nice little zoom, which is just the selected tasks. So if I were to highlight a number of tasks here, see how long they last. All of these here, they're all on one day. Zoom to selected tasks. And then it will zoom them in to the appropriate timescale for how long those tasks last. In this case, it's gone for 50 minute intervals because that's the best zoom to fit the space that I've got on my screen. 
If I were to go for some tasks that last a little bit longer, so three days, six hours, half a day and a day, let's add on another five hours there. Selected tasks. It now shows them in a 24 hour scale. So we see Tuesday, that's Wednesday, that's Thursday, that's Friday, Saturday and Sunday, non working time. So the zoom to selected tasks just makes those tasks fit in the Gantt chart view, choosing the appropriate zoom for the length of those tasks. So you're not restricted to any way to the defaults that come with your Microsoft project when you're looking at zooming in on the Gantt chart. Now the zoom that you choose here may be appropriate for the screen, but whatever option you've chosen is also the same zoom option that will occur when you go to print. So be a little bit careful if you've zoomed very close because it looks good on the screen, that when you then go to print that it wants hundreds of pieces of paper. So be careful to make sure that you examine the print preview before you print. But printing's coming up, not to worry. There's just a little caveat at this stage while we're zooming in and out of the time scale. So the default is days and that works well with our current project. Or we may wish to squish the whole project onto one screen. And you can see, even though we've got less space this time because I've widened the task pane, it still manages to squeeze it on one screen.